Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and this is Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. Well, today I'm going to be showing you exactly what comes in our Come to Me spell kit, and I'm going to be showing you the steps in doing a Come to Me spell with everything in that spell kit. Now, the spell kit comes complete with two candles, either a male and female candle, two female candles, or two male candles. You get to choose whichever one you want for you and your target. It also comes with an oil and it comes with an herb. Now these spell kits come in a lot of different colors and you would use different colors for different situations. So for example, if you wanted to really pull in that lover passionately, you would use a red version of the spell kit. You could, if you have a reconciliation issue, you were together, now you're broken up and you want to get back together again, you could use a blue candles, you'd use blue candles for that. Um, if you want to give your relationship a fresh start or it's a new relationship, you could use white candles. Um, if you want a sugar mama or sugar daddy, you could use green for that generosity. Um, if you want to protect your spell or you want to keep your, um, uh, your relationship a secret, you could use black candles for protection. If you wanted to bring in a particularly happy relationship, you could use yellow for happiness. Um, if there's some kind of block to the two of you being together, you might want to use orange for the, that breakthrough energy. If you wanted to be a power couple, you could use purple candles for that. And lastly, if you wanted a sweet and romantic relationship to come to you, you could use pink candles. And that's what we're going to be using in our spell today. We're going to be using pink candles for a sweet and romantic heartfelt relationship. So you would have your candles, you would have your oils, you would have your herbs, and you would have your complete instructions that come with the spell kit. Now what you would have to provide would be a tray to work on, so that could be something like a cookie sheet or a larger tray or a platter. And you'd need something to inscribe on the candles, like a nail, a knife, sometimes you can use a pencil or a pen, but just something so that you can scratch into those candles. Now the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to inscribe your name or your and your partner's name on your respective candles. So for example, if you were doing this spell for yourself and your name were Mary, you could type Mary on your candle on the base, right? Just like this. And you would inscribe that name at the base on the bottom. And you would inscribe the name of the, your target on the base of the other candle. So I'm gonna say this is John. So we inscribed his name on the bottom and your name on your candle. Okay, now we're gonna dress those candles with oil. In this case, I have new romance oil because in this situation, I might be inviting in a new romantic relationship. So new romance oil is gonna come with that set of pink candles. So I would apply that oil in an upward motion to each of the candles making sure to get in all the nooks and crannies, get that completely covered. As I'm doing that and applying that oil, I would maybe be saying that petition of what it is that I want. May John Smith come to me for a new relationship. May this be a happy relationship, a loving relationship. May our hearts be very open to one another. May it be a very romantic relationship. I can be saying any of those things. And again, I'm applying the oil in an upward motion. Now, then we have our packet of herbs. In this case, Damiana. Damiana is an herb for drawing a very loving relationship. And I would sprinkle those herbs in a little trail from my target toward myself. Now we're, as we're doing that, we're kind of saying, here's the path that you need to walk on to get to me, right? Come this direction, right? That's kind of what we're saying. So we sprinkle those herbs in a little trail from the target toward yourself. You can also sprinkle these herbs, if you like, onto the candle directly just to add a little bit of that loving, passionate, attractive energy. Sprinkle some here. 
Again, we could be saying our petition, what it is that we're wanting, the wish, and so on as we do that. Now we're going to face those candles at the furthest end of the tray from one another and then face them toward one another. Now you have an option here. You can either have the candles move toward each other over the course of seven days or you can have the target just move to you and you stay in one place. The energy is a little bit different. One is you're going to stay here and they're going to come to you. The other one is you're going to come together. So you get to choose. Once you've decided what you're going to do, you're going to light that candle, those candles. Again, speaking your petition. And I recommend lighting your target's candle first. Lighting that target's candle and say, John Smith, you will come toward me. You will find me irresistible. We'll have a beautiful, romantic, heart-centered relationship, a beautiful new love. Now, what you're going to do is on the first day, you're going to let that candle burn about one-seventh of the way down, you know, maybe about an inch, half an inch, something like that. Now, if one candle is burning faster than the other, the faster burning candle, snuff that out and let the slower burn burning candle catch up. Once they've burned about one seventh of the way down, you're going to snuff them out. You're not going to blow them out. So you can use a candle snuffer, a shot glass, a teacup, or you can wet your fingers and pinch the candles out. The next day, you're going to move that candle one step closer or move each candle one step closer to each other and then relight them again. Each day over the course of seven days, you're going to move those candles closer and closer together on that trail till finally on the last day they're touching. Now if the candle wax is dripping and the candles are stuck, you can crack that candle wax just to move that candle closer. On the seventh day, you're going to let the candles burn completely and then your spell is done. You can take those candle wax remains with the herbs and the wax. You can soften it and make a, a little talisman of some kind or make a poppet of some kind. Or you can take the wax remains, wrap them up in a cloth or put them into a paper bag. And then you can hold on to them until your wish comes true. Thank you so much for joining me. That's it. That is our Come To Me Candle Spell. I'm so glad you were here to join me and I could show you how to do this. You have the complete instructions that come in the kit. You have the candles, you have the herbs, you have the oils. All you have to provide are the matches, the tray, and something to write with. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Madam Pamita. You can find this spell kit and me at my website, Parlor of Wonders, parlorofwonders.com.